What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are rocking out with a Bax Caliber team on the Regulation D ladder. You guys are in a deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Also, if you guys want to support me a little bit extra, make sure you guys consider becoming a member to the Jeans channel. There should be a join button right next to the subscribe button. If it's not there for you guys, there is a link down in the description below. Huge shout out to all my members. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel a little bit extra. It really does go a long way. But like I said, we're using Bax Calibur today. And Bax Calibur is such a cool pseudo legendary. And this team also features two very, very strong combos with Hitsui and Logan and Torkoal. And then on top of that, we got Fluttermane and Chiyu. Should be a very strong team. Hopefully, we get to grab ourselves a winning record with the squad but Bax Calibur is going to be our first Pokemon we talk about in today's team preview. It has Thermal Exchange and the Assault Best as its item. It's got a great move set of Glade Rush, Ice Shard, Icicle Crash, and EQ with that ground terror type. So absolutely love this Pokemon. It can come into a bunch of different situations. We got Hisui and Logan in our second slot. And like you guys already know, it pairs up with Torkoal perfectly because it can double its speed in the sun due to its ability. It's got Focus Sash as its item and then a great move set of Encore after you close combat and solar blade. In our third slot, we got the one and only Torkoal. Not only is it good for weather control, it's also very, very strong inside the Trick Room. So if we're going up against a Trick Room team, my boy Torkoal is coming into play. It's got Drought, it's got Charcoal, it's got Eruption, Heat Wave, Earth Power, and Protect. In our fourth slot, we got Fluttermane. Fluttermane is top tier within this regulation, and it is super, super strong, especially with the choice specs as item like we have here. It's got Protosynthesis alongside with Thunderbolt, Moonblast, Shadow Ball, and Dazzling Gleam, arguably the best moveset for a choice spec Fluttermane. In our fifth slot, it's going to be our support Tornadus with Prankster and the Cover Cloak, Tailwind, Sunny Day for more sun, and we got Bleak Windstorm and Taunt. In our final slot, we got Chiyu. Chiyu pairs up perfectly with Fluttermane, and it can do a bunch of work by itself. It's got Beads of Ruin, the Choice Scarf as item, Heat Wave, Dark Pulse, Overheat, and Terra Blast. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Not the code is that top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that Regulation D ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Bax Caliber team. First match coming at you guys, and this one's tough. They got the best four Pokemon in Regulation D. They got Urshifu, Shen Pao, Dragonite, and Tornados. Those four alone could hands down carry any player into the Master Tier, no problem. It's just so strong. They also got Iron Hands and Fluttermane. This one should be tough, but hopefully we get to pull off this win and uh, get things started off hot here. But again, I don't know. It's really, really tough going up against those four, especially when you're not using those four. But who should I play? How should I lead it? I could go into maybe like Fluttermane Chiyu, but I feel as Tornadus is going to be really good for us. So do I lead Tornadus? I do have Cover Cloak, which is nice. And if he goes fake out with Iron Hands, these two, none of them can be faked out. So actually, I'm going to go into those two. I'm going to go into those two. I am going to bring Chiyu in the back end and then have Bax Calibur. I feel as a nice little first turn priority in the back end could be good, especially with the typing as well. I can really get down with that. So I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. Bring the squad without the Hisui and Logan and Torkoal. Yeah, but like I said, it's tough. It's brutal out here with these with these four. This is the meta right now. We have to deal with it until this series is over. So hopefully it does get better after this. We kind of knew it was going to be deadly. Once uh, once we played a little bit, we were like, oh my god, this, this Shin Pao Dragonite Urshifu is just absurd. And then there's no other support Pokemon like Tornado, so he's just taking over the meta. But now uh, from here, we can go into... We probably have to match Tailwind, right? I would say we have to match Tailwind here. So I'm going to go Tailwind for Tailwind. I think my Tornadus is max speed, so we can't be taunted. Right, let me see your speed. You max, you're not max speed, so he actually could taunt me if he's faster than me. But I'm going to go for that, and do I Terrasalize in the water? Probably not, right? I think we just go into a Dazzle Gleam here. Rip up as much damage as I can, choice spec into that. I like it a lot. So I'm gonna do that. I might pop a sunny day next turn as well. I might pop a sunny day next turn, but we're gonna see a terrestrialization come out from the Urshifu. Or did I? I did not mean to terrestrialize. Come on, man. Come on. But this might actually end up helping us out because if he terrestrializes Urshifu, we can eat up a water shot. So this might be a, this might be a good and a bad thing. <laughs> I don't know because I did not mean that. I just wanted to check out its terror type. So let's see what terror type this guy's rocking. He's rocking water as well. So this could help us out. This definitely could help us out. I kind of want to pop a sunny day next turn. That can help us out even more. Especially with Protosynthesis popping. But I'm just going to go for a Tailwind. We can see what Tornadus wants to do here. And we'll go from there. So we'll go Tailwind for Tailwind. That's, that's pretty much what I thought was going to happen. 
and I'm going to be able to outspeed. So that's going to be able to fly here, do some nice damage, and he's going to go for Surgeon Strikes. Is that in the Flutter Main? That actually helps us out because we eat this now. So my misclick on the Terra was actually a good play. So I'm going to take credit for that. I actually meant to do that. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Just kidding. But um, hmm. from here, I think we just pop a Sunny Day. Because if I could Sunny Day, I believe that boosts my special attack stat. Not my speed. No, it does boost my speed. I mean, he can Aqua Jet me, but I still want a Sunny Day. I still definitely want a Sunny Day, just in case that's going to KM me. And I'm just going to go into a Gleam and go from there. And plus, if I Sunny Day and he wants to go for a Bleak Wind Storm. Yep, there it is. They have a chance of missing it. So Sunny Day is going to come out here. I'm going to set the Sun. Protosynthesis. Maybe can we get a high roll and just take this thing out? He's just going to end up taunting me. That's cool with me. It's fine by me. Nice little taunt happens. It comes, or it actually, we were faster than their Tornadus. So this Tornadus was not maxing speed. We do get a decent roll. We get to take out Tornadus here. And we'll go from there. So he can't change weather. So Aqua Jet, we should be able to eat up. But if he goes to, say, Dragonite here, yep, he can eat speed to kill me all day. That hurts the soul. Those hurt the soul. Um, might as well go for Bleak Wind Storms. It's our best bet. And hmm, what do I have to deal with this? I have Bax Calibur with Ice Strike. First turn priority Ice Move, four times super effective. That's big time for us. Um, hmm, Chiyu with the Choice Scarf later in the game could come up big. So I'm gonna save him, and I guess I'll just click Daz and Gleam. Hopefully, maybe we can land a Bleak Wind Storm, but chances are we're not gonna be able to. But E Speed's gonna fly here. Can we land a Bleak Wind Storm? Can we get a little bit of luck here? I know we're in the sun, but come on. Give me a little bit of Bleak Wind Storm action here. Thank you. That means a lot, because we take out Urshu and we get rid of Multi-Scale. That's big time. We like that. We like that. Okay, so do I bring out... Do I bring out... Chi Yu? Or do I bring... I think I bring out Chi Yu here. And save Baxcalibur. I think we save Baxcalibur. Because Shiyu with the Choice Scarf, we're in Tailwind, should be able to get some damage. Plus the Sun's here. I think we just Choice in the Heat Wave. So who are you going to send out? Shen Pao? It's got to be Shen Pao. No, Iron Hands. The Iron Hands comes out here. That is a little scary. Iron Hands has the final Pokemon. That does hurt. Um, Got to go into Bleak Wind Storm. We are taunted. And... Oh, man. That really does me dirty. I don't have protect right here. He can fake me out, no problem. Do I hard swap into maybe? I think I might hard swap into Bax Calibur here. Because how many turns are left in Tailwind? One? There is one. Then I can Tailwind and Ice Shard again. I'm going to hard swap into Bax Calibur. Oh, wrong Pokemon. I'm going to go Bleak Wind Storm. I'm going to hard swap into Bax Calibur. I think Chiyu can come and clutch. Nope. Bax Calibur. We know he's going to fake me out. The thing is, Baxcalibur can eat up an E-Speed way better than Chiyu can. So by doing this, we can do this, let Tailwind in, and, and, and then we can go into Tailwind if we want to. So, I'm going to do that. Yep, there's E-Speed. You can eat that up. Correct. Correct. Good little statement from us. Bleak Windstorm's landing again, which we absolutely love. Which we absolutely love. We got a speed drop on you. And Tailwind is going to be gone. So, Tailwind's gone on both sides of the field. We made a great call there. Now, I can set up a Tailwind here. Oh, I'm taunted. Ooh. We should be able to eat up an E-Speed, so. I'm just going to go Ice Shard here. Love you. I love you, Baxcalibur. I love you. I knew I wanted to use you today. I knew I wanted to use my boy today. It's a big time eat up. It's a big time eat up. And it was a great swap call from us. Leakman Storm is landing like crazy. I didn't, like... Thank you, RNG gods. Like, I just wanted one Bleak Wind Storm to land. All of my Bleak Wind Storms have been landing in the sun, which is absurd. But Wild Charge is going to fly here. It's going to finally take out Tornadus. And Tornadus got a lot of value out. Tornadus goes out. They're going to take some recoil. And we pretty much win this match from here. I get to bring out my Chi Yu. I do have Overheat on this thing in the sun, but I think sun actually might end. And on top of that, I'm going for Clay Brush. We are looking for some overkill action here. <laughs> we are legit looking for it. So I'm going to go into an Overheat. This is, what is it? Wait, I kind of want to see the base stats on this thing. 
base 130 stab in the sun. Come on, man. And then a nice big old Glade Rush 120. That's gonna be game set match. So match number one, we are taking out a top tier meta squad. Absolutely love it. One and zero to get things started. Back Caliber coming in clutch in the back end. Let's hop into our second match. Let's go back and back. Second match coming at you guys. We're going up against a really cool team. Lucario is on it. Everybody loves Lucario. It's not too strong in regulation D, but it's such a cool Pokemon at the same time. We're also going up against a Dragonite, uh, Basque Legion, Heatran, Mousehold, and Fluttermane. So hopefully we get things cooking here. Grab ourselves another win. I could go Logan and Torkoal, and I'm kind of leaning towards that, right? I know they have Flash Fire Heatran, and we do have close combat on Logan, but I really do like these still. I really do like these. So I'm going to lead them both. I'm going to go from there, and on top of that, I am going to bring Fluttermane to you. Or do I take some speed here with Tornadus later in the game? Hmm. What is the play here, Jeans? What is the play? I do like Fluttermane. I don't mind Fluttermane. I think I'm gonna have to bring Fluttermane, and then I think I'm just gonna go uh, Chiyu, Chiyu Fluttermane combo. Lead back Excalibur and Tornas out of it. this one, even though they were so clutch in the last one, Tornas got off so much value. Tons of bleak windstorms that were somehow landing in the sun. I mean, I asked the Poke Gods and they said, that's my one. So one of these battles, either this one or the next one, I'm gonna have some bad RNG. This is how this is how the cookie crumbles. Some games you have good ones, sometimes you have bad ones, but he's gonna end up bleeding beast. And I don't mind that. I can air for you and e buffed if I want to. I mean, you can Aqua Jet into me, but I could just go straight for a Heat Wave, which I think I'm going to do. Even though it's not very effective, I still think it's going to be the play. I can take off Multi Scale. I can do some big time damage. And then on top of that, I'm just going to Solar Blade and look to get rid of Basket Legion. You might swap somebody in it for Heat Train. Which could be the play. That would be the play if you swap Basket Legion. And now that I say that, it's probably going to happen. So maybe I should just close combat at Basket Legion. That would be an insane read. Close combating a ghost type. That would have been insane. But watch, it's gonna happen now. Or someone's protecting, something's going on. Yep, he's gonna protect Basket Legion. Okay, I can deal with that. And Solar Blade is going to get blocked. But I can definitely see him going into Heat right now. Right? I can definitely see him swapping. Let's see what he does. Maybe we get off a of burning, but that thing is quick. Actually, no, it's not quick. My Torkoal's just going last. Heat Wave's gonna fly here. Can we get a burn on the Dragonite? That'd be big time. That'd be big time if we get a burn on the Dragonite. No, no burns. Um, hmm. What is the player? I kind of want to close combat. I'm not even gonna lie. I kind of want to close combat that slot. Should I make the read? I think I'm gonna make the read. I'm gonna make the Rico right in the Basket Legion. Gotta be Heat Train. Show me Heat Train. I'm the man. I'm the man. I'm just too good at this game. Making the read. Making the read. Come on, man. Come on, man. That's just too easy. Big time read. Big time damage on the Heat Train. I'll take that. That was actually a good play from us. But we're still in a tough position. Rockside's gonna come out. Can you dodge it, Logan? That'd be huge. That'd be huge if you could dodge it. Do not dodge it. So we end up not getting the dodge. And from here... What is the play? I mean, he's going to protect Heat Train all day. He's going to protect Heat Train. So, you know what? I'm just going to go for this. And... Mm. He's got to protect Heat Train, correct? He's, he just has to protect Heat Train. I'm gonna double down Dragonite. I'm just gonna get off as much damage as I can on Dragonite. He does not protect Heatran, so we could've just actually KO'd it. Kinda of hurts, but still, we got off some big time damage on the Heatran. We'll go from there. I wish that would've just KO'd, but Torkoal's gonna be able to survive here. And Heatran's just gonna finish it off. Okay. That's fine. That is fine. Really surprised Heatran didn't protect, because again, I could've just easily close combat it and KO'd it. But okay, at least we got off a little bit of value making that read. Still in such a tough position. So now we are here. I got Chiyu, I got Fluttermane. I really like it. I think Dragonite is choice right now. I really believe it's choice. Um, What moves do I go into though? I think because both these guys are choice Pokemon. 
Legion. We know he has Basket Legion in the back end. I like the Dark Pulse. So I might go Dark Pulse and... Yeah, I think I'm going to go Dark Pulse into Dazzling Gleam. I think that's our best bet. I know you got Rock Slide. I know for a fact you got Rock Slide. So Gleam is going to finish off Dragonite. Do some damage on the Heatran and then we're just going to take out Heatran. That was a big time read from us because now I got this really, really strong combo in the back end. We know his chances are he's going to Terrasalize Bash Legion in straight water. That's probably what's going to happen. And we got some speed cooking here. We got some speed. We do have some lovely little speed. Lucario's going to come out here and Lucario does want to fake out. Um, Bash Legion's going to come out here. I can't fake out. Or I can't protect that meant. So I'm just sticking with my Dark Pulse into this slot. And just a Dazzling Gleam across the board. Nice little Dazzling Gleam. Let's see what he does. Definitely Terrasalize the Basque Legion, right? Fake out Shiyu, Terrasalize Basque Legion. Could be pretty good. Could be pretty good, but we're doing some big time damage. So Terra comes out here. It is actually going to be into the Lucario slot. which is going to be straight fighting, and that could hurt. Because now that makes my neutral Dazzling Gleam fully super effective. Let's see how this one plays. He's just going to protect Bash Legion. No fake out coming out here. What are you doing? I think he's going to fly. If you're not Sash, you're dead to this. You are dead to this all day, Bukari, if you're not Sash. Lucky duck, you are Sash. So the Sash comes out. Out and about Sash. Dark Pulse is going to get blocked. What a match so far. And you're going to go for a close combat. Probably going to KO me, correct? Can you soak somehow? Yeah, there's no shot. There's just no shot. <laughs> so, uh, we have speed all day. And two gleams should KO Bash Legion. I don't think Bash Legion KO us unless Sun ends. Sun just ended. <laughs> of course it does. Of course Sun ends. So he could probably hit me with a wave crash and maybe an aqua jet. That could be tough news. We'll see. The sun was really helping us out. So that's some gleams gonna fly out. We get rid of Lucario and we can't even do half HP to the Bash Legion. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see what he's going for. Wave crash. Lance respect, so that's gonna KO us all day. I forgot about that move. Did forget about that move. That hurts that we were actually choice at this time. Because I could have just actually uh shadow balled him. But still, solid match from our opponent. We go one on one. Let's hop through a third and grab ourselves that winning record. Final match is coming at you guys, and we're going up against an Articuno team. Articuno Snow team, so I have to bring in some sort of weather control, whether it be my Tornadus or my Torkoal. Probably going to be my Tornadus. I have a lot more faith in that. I don't really want to go into Torkoal Logan tier, considering they have a few Pokemon that can absolutely rip in. They got the Landorus, they got the Regilecki, they got the Urshfu, and they also have a Tornadus of their own. So I'm going to lead my Tornadus. I'm going to go into that, and I'm also going to bring... Do I lead Baxcalibur? I could lead Baxcalibur, because Baxcalibur could be good, but the, at the same time, I kind of want to go into a special attack. Well, do I, would I rather go Chiyu here? Honestly, maybe. It's got the Choice Scarf. Make it really fast. I would really like that. I could go Chiyu, I could go Fluttermane. Hmm, I want them both, but I just don't know which one to lead. And I want Baxcalibur, but more as back end Pokemon. So who do I lead? Do I lead Fluttermane or do I lead Chiyu? I think I'm going to leave Fluttermane. Just in case Urshfu comes out here, I can Water Terra. And we'll go back to Calibur and Chiyu. Okay, I'm cool with that. I am cool with that. So we'll see who they want to go into. I think we're going to have to save Tornadus for late game. If they don't lead uh, Snow. Because if, if I let them get Snow controlled later in the match, they could definitely come back. Because that Articuno is real bulky. But it's such a cool combo. It is really cool, considering you never really see Articuno on the rank ladder. A lot of people, especially professional players, are using Articuno. So it's cool. It definitely is really, really cool to see that Pokemon get some, get a little bit of loving. But we'll see who they want to lead. Just going to be Lando. And this is why I want the lead special attack. It works out pretty well for us. The Lando is going to be lead with them. He's going to intimidate us. Going to really do nothing. And from here... Ch -ch 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 Gotta go and do a Tailwind. We gotta match Tailwind energy. So I'm gonna go Tailwind. Do I Thunderbolt or do I just choice into a Dazzle Gleam? I think I just choice into a Dazzle Gleam. Neutral across the board, get off as much damage as I possibly can. I like it. I wish I was kind of Fairy Terror right now because Fairy Terror is just so good on Fluttermane. Makes it do absurd damage. But uh, that 
Lando could be Choice Scarf. A lot of them have been Choice Scarf as of recently, so I can definitely see him pivoting out, maybe with a U-turn. I don't know. Not too sure. I'm not too sure. So we go Tailwind. Wouldn't be surprised to see our opponent go Tailwind as well. Yep. The good old Tailwind for Tailwind. The Tailwind for Tailwind pops out here. I'm going to go first. Drop a nice level gleam. Nice damage on the both of them. And Rockside's going to fly here. So Tornadus, I was going to say, you should be able to sort that. Which you do. Which is just lovely. So from here, I'm just going to go for a... Hmm, the Bleak Wind Storm, or do I swap like my original plan? I think I might swap in the Chiyu. Making me do a bit more damage here. Maybe being able to pick up two KOs. That's exactly what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. That's what Jeans is doing. We're swapping in Chiyu. We're going for the Gleams. We're ripping into it. Because like I said, if they got a Bomb of Snow Articuno in the back end, I need some sort of way to weather control that out. Plus, I think maybe there's a shot we can pick up a double KO here. With this nice, amazing, lovely ability. The Beads of Ruin coming out here. We love it. Special defense is all down. We might be able to double KO. Come on, at least give me one. There's one. Okay, I'll take one all day. I'll take one all day. So they pick up that KO. We're going for another Rock Slide, I'm guessing. We are indeed. And cool, I eat up. We like that. We like to eat up. So we're just going to go into his next Pokemon. Is it going to be one of the two? No, it's going to be Reggie. And this one hurts, man. Regilecki? Because I'm not, I'm not faster than it. I'm not faster than it. Even with Choice Scarf. I'm not faster than it. It's just not happening. So we are just... Oh, we're doomed. Swapping's going to do nothing. She's going to put us in a worse position. The e going to fly here. We're able to soak. Can, we, can you guys outspeed, potentially? Chiyu, you got that lovely... Nope, you don't. Know, lane's double up. So I was going to say, Chiyu, you got that Scarf, and you're not outspeed. But I think that lane is also Scarf. Oh, man, that hurts. The soul's hurting. So we know he doesn't have Articuno in the back end. The Regilecki coming in hot here. Doing me bad. So with that going on here, um... I wish I'd protect... Don't simply do not. What that going on here? We got Terrasalize, so maybe just go for an EQ. And if I can land a Bleak Windstorm, that's our that's our best bet. So if I can always ice shard down uh Lando. But that red is just a pain, right? Could be Sash as well, but Sash is just it's just brutal. It's brutal. It really is. And we're going to Rasslice Ground, last ditch effort here. Not looking so good. E Web's going to come out here. I'll take that, but my Lando, or not my Lando, my Tornado's going to come out here. Seen right here, I was like, dude, come on. Come on, I just need one shot on somebody. The Rock Slide is going to miss. Hold up. Can Baxi be the guy? Can he be him? Can Baxi be him? Baxi has a shot here. Baxi definitely has a shot. Like I said, I can Ice Shard Lando down at any time. Tailwinds are gone. And who was your final Pokemon is the real question. If it's a Bomb Snow by itself, I'd kind of be upset, right? Articuno by itself. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna go for the ice shard. I'm gonna finish this thing off. Take you out. And go from there. We'll go from there. Can Articuno miss whatever it's going for? Blizzard? She's going for Blizzard? She's going for freeze drives. We should be able to soak up at least one. We, we can soak up two. The real thing is, do I go for a Glee Brush? I think I do. Because Articuno should go before me. And no, we actually go first. That might hurt us. It definitely hurts, because Freeze Dry now kills us. Should have Ice Circle Crash first. Yep. We should have Ice Circle Crash first. I wish I would have known. Bax Caliber was faster. I wish I would have known. If I knew those stats, I would have Ice Circle Crash first, and then potentially been able to KO with the Glade Rush. But hey, GG's to our opponents. We go one and two. 
another one and two record wish i would have got you guys another win but i definitely owe you guys a winning record in the next video or another video coming up soon considering i feel like we went one and two in the past couple videos and i definitely deserve or I, you guys definitely deserve a nice lovely winning record but still this video was not bad we went one and two both our losses came very, very close. One move, one Pokemon. That was it. They were very, very close all around. But still, absolutely love this team. Thought it was very strong with the Bax Calibur. You got the Logan Torkoal, Fluttermane, Chiyu, and then Tornadus in that final spot. Really pairs together as a whole. It makes a solid team. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to leave a like on it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.